You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have Sean Merrill here from Teen Challenge. Teen Challenge is a wonderful community organization that helps people. Sean, let's talk kind of generically about Teen Challenge. Um, I told you we're going to bring, we're going to make you guys a frequent flyer on the show yeah. and bring you in because you do so many good things. You do the the annual banquet, you do the golf tournament, you do all sorts of things, but day in and day out. Sure. You guys help people. Yeah. Okay. The most and important thing. You're passionate about this because you've been through it. Yeah. Tell a little bit about your story, if you if if you sure. would, and uh, why it's so important. The mission that you guys are doing. Sure. So yeah. So like you said. So I've been through it. I came into Teen Challenge uh, in February of 2014 after struggling with uh, with an addiction that uh, ultimately led me to heroin and overdosing. Um, was brought back by the opioid reversal drug Narcan. Um, a couple of months after my overdose, my younger brother, who I used with, uh, passed away from an overdose, and and that was when what finally said. I had been in and out of programs, most of them short-term program, all of them short-term programs, 30 days or less, uh, and I just kept falling. And Teen Challenge was uh, ultimately the eighth program that I went into, um, but uh, it was long-term. Uh, it, it had a structure and a stability and a success that, that no other program uh, that I had ever been to or heard of had, uh, and ultimately uh, it changed and saved my life. Uh, and I'll never forget the day I was in front of uh, I was in front of a grocery store in Brockton, and we have a ministry called the Drug Awareness Team, where mm -hmm. we go out and it's a twofold uh, ministry where we raise funds to uh, to help people come into the program, but we also make sure that we spread the word about Teen Challenge and about if you have a family member struggling, that there's a place that they can go with or without funds. And uh, I asked, I was about a couple months into the program, and I was on that ministry, and uh, every other person that came up to uh, to our table, I asked them if they've heard of Teen Challenge, and and they hadn't. And we've been in Brockton for over 50 years, yeah. and so it, it blew me away that with the with the opioid epidemic at the level it's at, how many people didn't know that there was a resource right in their backyard where their loved ones can get help. And so I made it my my goal and my mission uh, to make sure that everybody in the community at least knows about it, uh, because for me and my brother. Um, even though we may have known about programs, we weren't always ready to go to them. Right. But when you're ready, you need to make you need to have those those programs and those numbers and those uh, those those places ready to go uh, and know that they're available to you. Sorry, I, I know a little bit about the history with your brother. I'm glad you've taken, you know, a negative, turned it into a positive, to help other people to to make sure that people can get the help. I knew about Teen Challenge a long, a long time ago, but it was reinforced with me through Larry's show, yeah. I, I, Larry and Peg's show on Deadly Silence, because oftentimes people don't know where to go for help. And, right. and our mission here is to help great organizations like yours to promote what they do. Everything's gone over to social media, but people still watch television yeah. too. And just the stuff when, when I've gone to the banquet, um, I'm not a golfer, so if you do a mini golf tournament, I'm there. <laughs> but golf, no. But that's, I'll help you publicize. That's more it. styles. Okay. More my style as um, well. You guys, you guys do regular services. I know for a while we had Teen Challenge plowing our parking lot. Yep. We a do long snow time removal. Ago. Snow removal, and now you're doing landscaping. Mm -hmm. I understand. Um, different things have changed. You had done the car wash and the furniture store. I bought some of my stuff at that furniture store for a heck of a lot less you than I You probably bought it off for. of me. Probably. <laughs> I, I got a nice roll-top desk. Okay. I, and I love that roll-top desk. And I, I used to send people there. So um, what can you say to, to on two counts? First of all, to anybody that needs help. Okay. Sell it, entice, entice people to come talk directly to the audience oh, okay. from your heart. Okay, well, I'll tell you, if maybe you've been struggling uh, with addiction for a long time and, and you've been in and out of programs and you've run out of resources and you, you're lost, you have nowhere else to go, um, Teen Challenge will help you. Um, whether you have money or not, um, we've never turned anybody away for financial reasons in over 50 years. I'd be lying to you if I told you it was going to be an easy process, because it's not. It's hard. Uh, overcoming addiction is probably the hardest thing you'll ever have to do in your life, but it's so worth it. Um, and and to, to do it with, uh, right now in Teen Challenge Brockton, we have uh, 75 men uh, in our Teen Challenge Brockton program 
to do it with other men that are going through the same thing uh, that you are and, and that uh, can relate uh, and be there with you. And most of the staff also have been through the program. Um, it, it changes everything. It's a, we believe at Teen Challenge that addiction ends with love. Uh, we want to love. We want to love people back to life. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that slogan. That's that. That's it, and it's not a slogan. Yeah. It's no, it's in your heart. Yeah. Um, you said a lot of people in the other segment we did. A lot of people help you. Businesses, members of the community. There are regular donors and things like that. Talk about that because, you know, Mass Health only covers so much. Yeah. There's other needs that people have that aren't like health insurance related. So so talk about some of those. Sure, talks. yeah. So I mean the, the cost of the program is $750 a month. It's not a lot and that's how much it costs you to, to come into the program, uh, to be fed, to be housed, to be taught, uh, and to go throughout the whole thing. 90% uh, of the people that come into our program, they can't afford that. Uh, and like I said, we, we've never turned anybody away in over 50 years because of that. And that's in large part due to our community. Uh, everyone from, from the mayor of Brockton uh, down to uh, just our next door neighbors, uh, they're, they're always willing to give. They're, they're participating in our events. Uh, they're there for every one of our events. They're, they're sponsoring. Uh, we have the businesses of Brockton that, um, that we can pretty much call on almost any time and, and you know, let them know we're having an event. They usually don't care about the ad or, or whatever it is that we're offering. They just want to help. And it's heartwarming to, to see the community come together like that. You have a big road race, too, that you do? Huge. Okay. I remember when you posted the first Facebook. Yeah. And then it grew and grew, grew. and grew and grew. Okay. Um, not playing Mass Challenge yet. <laughs> not yet. But I had, kind of have a feeling. A little faster that, than... That, that, Faster than you thought. So the first year, you know, was la was was in 2017, and and we were hoping and praying to get you know between two and three hundred runners and walkers out there. And by the time uh, the the race day came, uh, we had 702 people registered uh, for the event, which was huge. It was an amazing event. And then so this just this past May, we did our, our second annual, and we were just trying to hope we can meet or match or maybe just beat by a couple the year before. And by, uh, by the day of the race, we had uh, over 2,000 people wow. uh, come out and run and walk and, and support the cause. And we raised over $115,000 uh, to help men and women struggling with drug addiction. I got a couple of minutes left. I don't know if it's one or two. One. Okay. I, I actually it's wrap it up is what I got. So we'll bring you back. Okay. We'll promote more events that you do. And I think we might need to do a half an hour Greater Brockton edition to do this. Okay, probably. Okay. Yeah. Some PSAs we talked about, <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah. So thanks for coming. Thank you so much, here. Mark. Thank you, you for all you do for our community and for Teen Challenge. Glad to help. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions. And we're, and we're clear. I almost forgot where I was. If you want to hang that in the front.